Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna be learning about uploading multiple files with PHP. And we're gonna be doing a lot of the same things that we've done when uploading a single file with a few modifications. So for our HTML form, instead of just the user file, we're gonna be saying user file with square brackets because we're gonna be uploading multiple files and storing them inside of the array instead of just a variable. We're also going to provide an HTML attribute called multiple, which is a new feature in HTML5. And that just lets the user select multiple files from their computer when uploading files. And that's it for the HTML form. Now we're also going to be using the pre R function that we defined last time for better array readability when printing it out. We're also gonna be using the PHP file upload errors array for all the uh, error messages when uploading files. And uh, finally, we're also gonna use a function called re-array files to organize our files array in a much more readable and cleaner format that you see here. And uh, what it does, it just organizes the files array of multiple files in a numeric array and puts all the uh, data associated with uh, each file inside of the index key instead of the default version which you see here which spreads all information across different keys which makes it a little bit uh, harder to access the data so this just so this function just makes it a lot easier to work with the array and we're going to use it all right I'm gonna go to NetBeans projects and start a new project I'm gonna select PHP name it multiple file upload and uh, I'm also gonna create a directory in my Apache root folder and I'm gonna call it multiple file upload and I'm gonna create another folder inside of it where we're gonna be uploading our files called files and I'm gonna navigate to that directory I just created inside the local host multiple file upload open and click finish okay so that means created a new project I'm gonna go to source files and create a new PHP file name it index.php and then I'm just gonna create a basic HTML template with bootstrap included because we're gonna be using bootstrap to print out the error and success messages which is going to make it a lot a little bit more prettier to look at and I'm gonna provide a title PHP multiple file upload and then create the form and it's going to have an empty action because the form is going to be submitting to itself and for the first input type it's going to be file with user file and square brackets to store it store the data inside of the array value is going to be empty the second field is just going to be the submit button so submit submit and we can change the text of the button to upload also for this form I want to say the ink type equals multi-part form data to indicate that we're going to be submitting binary data and also we want to add the multiple attribute to indicate that we're going to be letting the user select multiple files from their computer. Let's see what the form looks like so far in the browser. So if you hit browse here, and uh, you can navigate to the files directory of your choice, and here I can go ahead and select multiple files now. So you can see that eight files has been selected. Hit upload, and right now nothing happens. All right, let's go ahead and code the PHP part. So down here, before the closing body tag, I'm gonna Go ahead and open up PHP tags. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, check if the files user file is set. If is set files user file. So that means the our files form has been submitted. So let's see what it looks like.
Okay, I'm just gonna select all these files, hit upload. Oh, I've actually forgot to include all the functions that we're gonna be using, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go to OneNote, and first we're gonna include this pre-r function that NetBeans is complaining about right now. I'm also going to include that errors array, and make sure the errors array is uh, above all the other code like this and finally the re-array files function and I'm gonna paste it down here and this is a function that's going to organize our files array in a more readable format now let's go ahead and print out the files array and see what the default format looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and select multiple files hit upload and you can see here that PHP is organizing our files by an associative array, but it puts the values inside of a different array key, which makes it a little bit harder to access them with the loops. So this is what it looks like so far. And now we're going to use this uh, rearray files function. So we're just going to say file array equals rearray files, and then provide the actual array. And then let's go ahead and print out that. I'm going to select the files again, hit upload. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's now a lot easier to work with our array because it's a numeric array. We can easily loop through it using the for loop. And we can access all the individual file information inside of the each array key so that makes it a lot easier to work with all right so we got that and now we're ready to work with our files array so the first thing that we want to do is uh, since we have an array full of files the first thing that we want to do is loop through the array so we're gonna use a for loop for that and we're gonna say count file array which is going to count the array and loop through it until it's done. And so the first thing that we want to do inside the loop is to check if there are any PHP errors. So we're going to say if file array i error. So if there are any errors, then we want to output an error. And here I'm going to be using a bootstrap div. For the output, I'm going to use that PHP file upload errors array to output the appropriate error. And um, let's see what it looks like so far. So I'm going to select all the files here, hit upload. And uh, so far we're getting this one error. The upload file exceeds the upload max file size directive in PHP i and I. Uh, and so far we don't know which file this is. So we know that the error is, is this one here, but we don't know what the file name is. So let's go ahead and associate a file name with this array as well. So we can just say, so we can just say file array i name which is the name of the file and then we're just going to concatenate that using the concatenator now let's see what it looks like okay so now you see that um, which file is associated with this error which is a, a movie file which is beyond the uh, size limit directive in php i and i Though we're not getting any extension errors and success messages, and that's exactly what we're going to do next here. Okay, so next up, if there are no PHP upload errors, then we want to check for extension errors. So we want to say else, and then I'm going to create an extensions array with extensions that we're going to be allowing for the upload. And uh, for this example, I'm just going to use a bunch of image extensions like we did last time. 
So this is a list of extensions that we want to allow the user to upload. Next, we want to extract the actual extension that's been uploaded using the explode function. So inside of the file extension variable, we can say explode and then dot as a delimiter and then the actual name of the file. Then we want to use the end function to extract the file extension from the file extension array. All right, let's make sure that we're doing it right by outputting the file extension. Okay, so the extensions are being extracted correctly. So the next thing we want to do is print out invalid file extension if the extension is not found inside of the extensions array. So we want to say if not in array file extension extensions. And that's going to check if the current extension has been uploaded is uh, inside of our array or not. And so if the extension is not found inside of the extensions array, we want to print out an error message. So can I use another danger div and say invalid file extension. We're also going to provide the file name so we know which file is associated with that extension error. File array i name invalid file extension. All right, let's go ahead and see if that works so far. I'm gonna select all the files again, hit upload. All right, great, so the extension errors are working. Last thing we're gonna do is create a success message if uh, the extension has been found and if there's no PHP upload errors. So here we wanna create an else statement. And first of all, we're gonna go ahead and use the move uploaded file function to move the uploaded file from the temporary directory to our files directory. So I'm gonna provide the temporary directory name here, which is files array i tmp name. And for the destination is going to be our files directory. So I'm gonna concatenate that with the actual file name. File array i name. And then we want to print out the success message. I'm going to use a success div. And for the output, I'm going to use PHP file upload errors, file array i error. Now keep in mind that this is not the actual error, it's a success message, which is zero. So there's no error, the file uploaded with success. And um, Let's also provide a file name here, file array i name and concatenate that. And that should do it. Right, let's go ahead and view that in a browser and everything should be working fine now. Let's go ahead and select multiple files, hit upload and bear JPG, there's no error file uploaded. Duck has been uploaded and Fox has been uploaded and we get the errors for all the invalid extensions and the uh, big file. So let's go ahead and see if the files have been uploaded. And you can see here Bear, Duck and Fox have all been uploaded. So everything is working. Now let's go ahead and change the extensions to PDF and executable, for example, and allow those extensions only. So now I'm going to go ahead and browse. And as you can see, the only file that's executable is this one. And, and, and the book that PDF is the PDF file. So those are the only two that should be uploaded. Hit upload and book that PDF has been uploaded and the executable file has been uploaded now. So that's how easy we can change the extensions and we can go ahead and check here and those files have now been uploaded in our files directory. And that's how you upload multiple files with PHP. Now, once again, you guys can go ahead and download all the source code from my patient page, along with uh, all the OneNotes that 
you saw in the video. And uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.